or here. You might just be wondering, how on earth did this happen? For multiple So there's multiple, multiple videos and comments about giving Subaru so much hate for the boxer engine size. I get see pictures of head gasket problems everywhere. And it's like, there's a reason why Subaru often blows head gaskets. And it's not just because of the boxer engine design. It's you. You as the consumer, as the person who owns the vehicle, you're the one that's responsible for a proper maintenance, tune-ups, and other stuff to your vehicles. The reason why your Subaru often blows head gaskets is not just the boxer and designs. It's you not changing the, the fluids every tens of thousands of miles, not changing the oil every three to 7,500 miles. You are responsible for the transmission fluid as well, 40 to 50,000 miles, to make sure that your gears are shifting right. Oil is a lubricant and a coolant that keeps the oil cool and it keeps every moving part lubricated. If you leave your car stationary for months or years, obviously the oil will drain to the bottom of the engine, to the oil pan, where there's no parts that's getting lubricated. It can overheat your engine if, it, if you keep moving it, or it can lock up the engine entirely because there's no parts that are moving and lubricated. Braking pairs are also important to their vehicles. So braking pairs only last between 250 to 1,000 miles or something. If it's below the proper... Uh, braking period line, that means you haven't taken care of the vehicle. Taking it on a racetrack and driving the hell out of that vehicle can also cause the oil pickup line to not receive oil, and that's why you have oil consumption issues, because the oil is not getting picked up to the oil pickup line from the, um, um, what is it, the oil, from the oil pan. Um, Donut Media, for example, has mentioned that so many times. They kept breaking the engine, taking it apart for more reasons why their Subarus keeps breaking, not doing the proper maintenance, you know, keeping it ready for track time, you know, not doing the proper braking periods. And yeah, I mean, you keep blaming Subaru for their boxer and designs. That's not the case. It's you as the consumer that's supposed to be responsible for braking periods, changing fluids, changing the oil, doing proper tune-ups, Every once in a while to keep your car, you know, you know, running good. That's why you see some of these cars last the three to five hundred thousand miles because of due to proper maintenance. But oh wait, no, just give it to Subaru for their boxer engine designs with the head gasket failures. You as a consumer are responsible for changing things. You want your car to last forever. Do the proper maintenance and because you're responsible for all that.